A drive to Rose Canyon Lake. This is gonna be one long drive, I promise you. Rose Canyon Lake is located 30 miles northeast of Tucson, Arizona, in the Santa Catalina Mountains on Mount Lemmon. In the southwest of the United States of America, and so on and so on, as you can see here. How cool would it be to live in one of those houses up there on the right? Those Sorora cactuses that you see everywhere, they only grow in a certain zone in the world. Here's a map for everybody. You can thank me now or thank me later, it doesn't really matter. One of my favorite part of the videos is coming up, a split view. Cherish it, everybody. There's only two in the video, so embrace it. This is future Jason. I'm getting ready to export this video and I just wanted to come back and say, if you're seeing this, I've done it my friends, I've done it. That was the second split view, my friends, as promised. As I quiet down here a bit, now I will come and go on the voice, but I just wanna say, notice the scenery change from cactus to luscious green all the way to forest as we head up to Rose Canyon Lake on Mount Lemmon, northeast of Tucson, Arizona. My father and I, we traveled all over the country together. However, this drive that me and you are on right now, we never got to make. If there's somebody out there that you love, take them on that adventure. Go on that adventure with them. That's just a little life advice from the guy making videos about driving down the road. But who am I? to tell you what you should be doing.
while you've been sitting there enjoying this video, the scenery's changed. Also, I just wanted to check in and let you know, you're not alone. I'm still here. I just had a random thought. I'd like to be in a swimming pool. You know, like a nice warm one underneath palm trees with a beautiful view of the ocean. I know that's completely unrelated to this, but this is kind of a travel slash scenery video. And I mean, don't we all love oceans, palm trees, and beautiful warm water. Don't you just dislike it when the water's cold? All right, back to the video, sorry. I was just letting you know I'm still here.
there's some motorcyclists that want to pass, and we're going to let them go around. In three, two, one. The temperatures probably dropped 10 or 12 degrees between this part of the trip and when we originally started. Rock and roll. AT&T phone and a T-Mobile phone, both in the vehicle. And both had very spotty service on the way up. My iPhone actually said SOS at the top, which as you know stands for stop looking at your phone and look out the window.
you ever come up this way, this particular stop right here is a perfect place to park your car, get out, take a break and just look around. Beautiful views, wonderful weather, and just a excellent place to stretch your legs. And I'm not gonna do any of those things. Let's keep rolling. Also, we're back to following the red car again, the same one from earlier.
could not be more excited. We're here. Or, I mean, we've actually made it. All the are we there yet? Are we there yet? Finally, it's all come to fruition, my friends. We're pulling in. We're going to see the lake. Yes. Yes. All the driving. The camera suction cupped outside the field. Yes. Are we going to take a hike first? Are we going to fish? I mean, what are we going to do? I just don't know. We're getting our money out now. We're going to pay, and then we're going to get in, and we are going to get some epic, epic footage of this lake. Ooh, here it is, here it is. We are next, we're next. Do you have a favorite lake? I mean, we were thinking we'd go in here, check out some camping spots, you know, in preparation of our next camping event. Remember when you were a kid and your parents would pick out numbers and then call the campsite a little bit later in the year and let them know they wanted spot 87 or 72 or whatever? I think that's what we're going to do. This might be our new place. You know, you just don't know. You just really can't tell with these things until you get in here. Anyway, 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 enough with me chattering. Here comes the action. Hello. Um, so, theoretically, I could sell you a day pass, but I don't have any parking spaces in So, there's nowhere to park over here. So, what you can do is you can either park up top and walk in. It's 1.3 miles from the top to the lake, and that's just a dollar per person. Option two, they check it every 30 minutes or so. So, you come back and check with me in about 30 minutes um, and see if we've got some spots down there. And if we do, the day passes are $11 um, cash. I don't have a machine. Um, I can rent you a campsite for $28, and it gives you a designated parking space in the area, but the closest ones I have to the lake right now are about half a mile away. Well, the choices are we park a half a mile away, walk in, pay to walk another two miles down to the lake, and then walk back to the car. Also, uh, she was extremely helpful. But option B is we drive around for 30 minutes, check back in, see if there's a space, and then check back in 30 minutes after that, and so on and so forth. The reality of the situation is this is completely my fault. I should have checked in advance to see what kind of a busy day we were dealing with, I guess. However, with it being a campground slash lake, this wasn't something I thought of that I needed to do. I mean, reservations, I mean, look, we're just gonna drive back down. You know, this is exactly the kind of thing that would happen to my father. A real national lampoon's Wally World moment, if you know what I mean. This is, I guess, what the videos come to and uh, this is where we're at. I thought it was pretty cool that the camera didn't overheat, considering it was about 103 degrees outside when we started. We started uh, the desert floor, Tucson, Arizona, drove up this mountaintop here, discovered we couldn't really get into the place we wanted to, but probably got a decent video out of it anyway. And now we're headed back down. And you know, all in all, it was a great Saturday morning drive. Everybody got out of the house. Everybody saw some scenery. And isn't that what it's just all about? Not staring at your phone screens? I realize that's pretty ironic, considering you're watching a video I've made, perhaps on a phone screen. But you know, hopefully you're watching it on a TV in 4K. It's kind of better that way. As broken up and sad as I am that this trip is over, me and you, we're gonna have to part ways now. Thank you again for watching. Have an amazing afternoon, day, morning, or whatever. And well, as always, I give all the glory to God. Later, y'all.